Hello everyone. Here in this session, we are going to solve the question, hello world problem with a kind of uh, restrictions. And you are going to see the very interesting fact and the beauty of C programming here. So let's start. The first one is write a C program for printing hello world without any condition. It might seem silliest problem that uh, uh, you may ask that, sir, what you are going to discuss, but yes, Let's start from scratch and we are going to put restrictions and you are going to see the amazing beauty of C programming for solving this smallest problem. So if we are not having any kind of restrictions, so we can uh, at the first stage include the file. You can simply say that studio.h and uh, thereafter simply we can create a main function from where a compiler is going to read the code. And after that, we can simply use the function print app and uh, it is going to print hello world that we need, right? So you can simply see that. And after that, we can just put return zero. Okay, so successfully returning the output. So you can see the code. It is very, very, very simple code. And I hope that the concepts are very much clear to all of you. Now, what if I put some restrictions? What if I put some restrictions? Not. Let's say we need to print hello world. We need to print hello world. Okay. Without semicolon. Without semicolon. So if I, if uh, there is a need of printing. Uh, hello world without semicolon, then how you are going to execute it, right? So just think it, think it, think it, and I'm going to solve, don't worry. But till now, till then you can think that what would be the logic. So, okay. Basically, the header part would remain same. Hey, include studio dot h and uh, Inside that we can create a main function and thereafter in main function, we do not need to use semicolon. So the logic is that we can use looping condition and uh, we can use if conditional statement, if print F and inside that we can put hello world. Inside that we can put hello world and uh, as you know, the looping condition if do not need any kind of a semicolon after it, as well as whatever we have written inside the parenthesis of if loop, this part, right, this part. So this is just a conditional statement. It, if it is a non-zero, it is true. It means that it is going to be returned. We can simply return zero and we can close it, right? So you can simply see that if we are going to uh, write like this also, it is going to work. And uh, without using semicolon, we can execute the printf statement for hello world like that. So the logic is that conditional statement do not have any kind of semicolon after it, but inside parenthesis, if the condition is true, any non-zero value is true. So it is going to return. Okay, let's come to the third part. Very, very interesting. If I need, if I need, to print the same hello world. Okay, without using print at this time, without using print f. So if we do not need to use print f function, then how you can print it? Then how you are going to print it? Important logic, I hope. Everybody can solve it. Everybody can solve it. Okay. Don't worry, I will solve it for you. So the logic is that we have to include some advanced header files. You can simply say that hash include unistd.h and we can also include hash include system call, sys call. That is means system call.h. And thereafter, we can use int main inside the parenthesis. We can pass void as a parameter. 
it simply indicates that we are not passing any value to the function. And thereafter, the some 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 syntax are there which you need to be keep in your mind. Const care message. It is our function const care message constant character message. Whatever we want to print, we can declare here. As we want to print hello world, so we can create hello world message in constant character. And uh, we can use a method which you can call that simply syscall, that is system call. And inside that sys underscore write separated by comma and then this one indicates that one constant character message is there. Thereafter, we can just include a message. It is going to fetch the message for us. And thereafter, size of message. Whatever size of message is there, you can just put size of message. By default, it is going to calculate whatever is the size of, let's say, 5 and 5, 10 and 1, 11 and, and the underscore that is a space wide space that is 12. By default, it is going to be 5, 5, 10 and 1 and 1, 12. So it is going to fetch out the space and you can simply return at 0. So this is how you can execute hello world without using printf. I hope it seems very interesting to you as well. Okay. Now let's go move to the next condition. Let's move to the next condition. And this time the condition is, we have to print hello world. We have to print hello world without using hello function. Without using main function. So the logic is again very, very simple. You just need to focus it. We have to use some header files like uh, include studio.h. Now you know that we do not need to use any main function. So we have to create our own function using hash define and let's say fun that is stands for function main. So we are defining our own function, right? So the compiler could understand that from where. Basically the use of main function is to know, to let us know the compiler, to let know the compiler that from where it's execution is going to start. So after that, we can simply use int function inside that we can just pass void just to indicate parameter without any kind of input. And simply we can use printf and we can write it here, hello world. So this is the message which you are going to pass. And this printf hello world is going to work without using main function. Without using main function, you can execute like that. I hope you find it very, very interesting. You are, you are getting it each and every. Let's do it with one more constraint. Further, if you are having any kind of doubt or query now in any part, you can comment us. I will try to resolve. Don't worry about it. So let's say uh, we need to print uh, hello world without using any header file, without using header file, without using header. I hope problem seems interesting to you as well. Without using header file, how you are going to print hello world in C program. So let's see. Uh, you can simply see that in, and then we can use printf. Thereafter, you can use constant. They are just syntax you need to know. Character, star, thereafter the format, and you can just leave the dots. And then we can use in main. Inside that, we can just use printf, and then we can write our message, whatever we want to print or display on the screen, let's say hello world. And simply you can close the message, right? So in printf, so basically uh, the basic function is that printf definition we have to fetch without using header file. So constant character start format, uh, that is the syntax that you can uh, uh, let us compiler know that what printf is exactly going to do. This is the syntax you need to remember, you need to know. And thereafter you can execute your code like that. And this is how print hello world can be written without using header file, without using main function, without using printf, 
without using semicolon and without any constraint. So all problems are very, very simple, but interesting. I hope you like it. And further, if you gain something, something from this video, then at least like the video, show your response in the form of liking the channel, subscribing, press the bell icon button so that such kind of useful videos I can share with you in uh, ahead time also. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.